Even magazines like Time magazine published an article about the year 2045, when we expect is the last time when the singularity should happen. And so what is the singularity? So the technological singularity is defined as a moment when technology changes so fast that if humans don't improve themselves, they will not be able to follow technology. Since some people here are too young, you have not seen how computers have evolved, so I want to show you this quickly. Uh, 40 years ago, these were the computer memories used. So this is about one kilobyte of memory, one kilobyte. Today, you can buy thumb drives like this one, which has over 100 gigabytes. So look at what has happened in 30 years. We have gone from 1K to hundreds of gigas. This is hundreds of million times more powerful. But what do you think is going to happen in the next 20 years? we will have computers so powerful that they will have more transistors than the human brain has neurons. In fact, here there are some companies like Emotive, another one called NeuroSky, which I use, and my students also at Singularity University, they use these devices, which is a mind reader. You can read all your brain impulses from the frontal lobe of your brain. We will connect ourselves to robots. And as you saw in the Olympic Games, this is the first human cyborg athlete. This is only the beginning of the human machine civilization. We will merge with the machines and we will cure all the diseases. All of the diseases we expect to cure in 20 to 30 years, thanks to genomic treatment. All of those diseases, all of them, all of them, all of them, including aging because the world of the future is the most incredible possibility for humanity and for Korea. Gangsa Hamnidam.